Good morning. I am going to show you how to use the workflow copy tool. Here we have Peter's engineering docu where today Peggy Jenkins has asked us to add due date to the workflow task form. We are going to test this change before we will deploy it to the production file cabinet. We want to test this change. We are going to create the new document pool test file cabinet. We export the configuration of the current production document pool file cabinet, and then we import it as the new document pool test file cabinet. Next we need to create the new empty workflow for our test file cabinet. Let's open the workflow designer and create the new workflow. This new workflow will be used as the destination for copy tool. Now open the workflow tool. Here we have selected the source and destination SQL servers. In our case we are using the same server which is running on the local machine. We select the source workflow and destination. As destination the workflow copy tool shows only workflows which were never published. After selection press copy workflow button. You can check the log after copying. Now open again the workflow designer and change the workflow as requested. We will add due date to the workflow task form. We will make this field editable. We also add assignment for this field. After changes we will publish the workflow for testing. We are testing the new workflow in the test file cabinet. We will store the new invoice to document pool test file cabinet. After a while the document will be visible in out test workflow. We confirm that new field due data is visible on the task form. We will change its value and confirm that index entry of the document has been updated. We have confirmed that the change is working as expected. The document has been moved to the next step in the workflow. We will stop this test workflow. Now we need to prepare our production workflow for copy. Open the workflow designer. Open the production account payable workflow. Move any box and just save it. The new version of the workflow has been created. This version should not be published. 
We will use this new unpublished version as destination for our test workflow. Run the workflow copy tool again. Read the information from SQL servers. Please notice that in the destination we have only one workflow visible. This is our unpublished version of the account payable workflow. Press copy button to copy workflow. Open again the workflow designer. We need to publish our new version of account payable workflow. We can also confirm that changes from test workflow are copied into account payable workflow. At the end we can do one another test by storing invoice into production file cabinet. After storing the invoice the new document should be visible on the task list. We can confirm that it will use the new version of workflow and that the due date field is present. That's all what I wanted to present you. You have seen how to use the workflow copy tool to copy the workflow definition. The tool can copy the workflow between different servers and between different file cabinets. It can save you a lot of time and help to speed up the deployment. You can test changes before deploying them to the production.